Marcelo is one of the most, well, he's the most kinesthetically overdeveloped person I've ever met. And of course, overdevelopment and underdevelopment tend to come hand in hand conceptually. Um, so you know, give, he, can you give me a, an example of that? What would be an example? Of overdevelopment and underdevelopment? Uh, of kinesthetic, uh, what it means to be kinesthetically. His physical intelligence is mind boggling. I mean, when he'd come fishing with me, I, you know, you throw him on a stand up paddleboard. Um, in three foot chop, and everyone just flies off of paddle boards when they j- just stand up on them. And he's just beautiful. I mean, he just finds the balance points. I mean, I've never seen one, seen someone learn so quickly how to handle um, waves, boats, handling fishing lines, being, you know, free diving, being on riding waves on paddle boards. You know, when, you, when you're in the marsh, I, I've been a stand up fighter for many years. I mean, throwing is my core, my core art. When I'm doing stand up training with Marcelo, I caught him with most of the throws in my repertoire one time. I don't think I've ever caught him with a throw twice. Wow. Which is amazing. <laughs> I mean, I mean, and I have guys who were world class who I was training with, you know, I catch them thousands of times. This is a guy, he, he, he just, you almost never see Marcelo get caught more than once with something. Um, and it's amazing to see how he relates to the world through his kinesthetic intelligence. So, for example, if you're looking, when we were looking for spaces for our school, we'd walk into a big room and I'd be thinking about the dimensions, you know, square footage, where the, this would be, where that would be. Marcelo would know if it felt good or felt bad. Yep. If he meets you, he's going to know whether he feels good about you or he feels bad about you. And his intuition is incredibly dead on, but he, he navigates the world through this kinesthetic intelligence. Yep. And it's been a really fascinating having the school with him and diving deep with him. Um, because we've been having conceptual dialogue for those, these three and a half years or so, and he's really deepened con- um, conceptually. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've learned even more deeply the, the importance of the lesson that there are many paths to greatness. And to take a guy like Marcelo and to try to fit him into a chess player's you know, hyper-conceptual mold would be terrible. Yeah. Because you'd be killing his shine. And he is so great because of his just unbelievable commitment to doing it his way. Mm-hmm. And he's done things in, in extraordinary ways. I mean, for example, you know how in these competitive arts, everyone's very secretive about their repertoires. Yeah. Um, well, we have this program, which you know well, called MG in Action, where people, jiu-jitsu guys from around the world, log in to watch all of Marcelo's training sessions, his, his sparring sessions, his lessons, everything. When he was competing in Abu Dhabi, Submission Grappling World Championship, and Munjals, which is the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu World Championship, mm-hmm. we were, spur- we were s- streaming his sparring sessions every night. So he was basically showing his competitors what he was about to use against them in two weeks and three weeks and four weeks. And his attitude about this, which is completely unique, is if you're studying my game, you're entering my game, and I'll be better at it than you. 